So down here is the uh, market area. And here you obviously get like what you've been seeing in the other markets. You'll be getting, you know. We're back at the bus terminal, which is right here on the left. So you can see if you do visit here, you have the bus terminal and the market right next to each other. So it's definitely. Welcome to Inspire for Travel. My name is Wemba Imani and I do appreciate your time for always coming back and watch my videos. Today I am in Makumbusho. That's right, an area in the Kinondoni district here in Dar es Salaam. Now Makumbusho is a very central location and it has a small bus station which packs a great punch because from there you can get many buses to many areas here in the city of Dar es Salaam. For example, you can get buses to the Karyoko market, you can get buses to Mbwango, you can get buses to Mbezi, many different areas so it's quite a central and strategic location so if you're thinking of some places to stay or where to be definitely consider Makumbusho now there's also a museum in this area as well which shows very various cultural artifacts and they perform dances as well traditional dances so you can definitely check that out I'll be exploring Makumbusho today so if you're new to the channel welcome and I'll do appreciate if you can consider liking sharing and subscribing to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe Karibuni Tanzania so this is another side we're walking back literally the other direction from where we were walking before and one of the things you'll notice on this street there is more restaurants again okay you can see we're coming up various foods are sold here and uh, so I'm liking what I'm seeing in Makumbusho guys definitely like I said it's a definitely a central location and what I like about it personally is the fact okay yeah you might see some of these things what you're seeing in other areas but the fact that from here you can still access many other areas in Dar es Salaam and even places a bit outside of Dar es Salaam like Bagamoyo from this from this area you can get a bus to those places I really like that man you know these are some of the things I look for in a town you know the accessibility to certain transport that can take me to other places and definitely this area Makumbusho ticks the boxes for that so this is pretty much like the central part of it of course that the back roads will be a typical you know back roads some of the roads are paved some of them are not and obviously there will be you know um, apartments houses like what you've been seeing in the in this series here so literally if I walk back this way this will take me back to the main bus station right the main bus station it will take me back there and that will lead me to the market there's a market close by so I'm gonna try walking that market there so you can get a look of what a market is like um, in the area you can see pineapples are being sold in Kiswahili pineapple is known as nanasi and we also have apples in Kiswahili apples is tufa so yeah guys let me know what you think in the comment section about Makumbusho so down here is the uh, market area and here you obviously get 
like what you've been seeing in the other markets you'll be getting you know a variety of different fruits for example here we have pear we have watermelon we have papayas and different grains as well some stuff you can get wholesale price so this is the market here at Makumbusho guys it's a bit quieter now as we're heading towards the evening period a lot of people are returning home this is asali here this is asali asali is honey in Swahili real natural honey so for those who really like uh, natural products natural honey then this is the best place to get it one of the best places to get it I mean you, you would see honey in many of the various markets in Tanzania so this part here is where you'll find mainly clothing and you know women doing their hair and different things like that it's a small market in comparison to even the Temeke one where we went I'm sure you lot saw the Temeke one but it still has a lot of items here as you can see slippers clothing all these different things can be purchased here in this market Man. these are ba bananas guys there's more grains rice peas beans a lot of these things you can also get food here as well so you'll find a lot of workers walking around you deliver different food to people it's just wholesale sweet drinks on sale so this is pretty much I mean the market here I mean of course in the back you'll have more clothes and more fruits but you can see this is pretty much it there's a lot of tomatoes and all of that here in the market so yeah this is this is the vibe here guys in Makumbusho And what makes it nice it's literally right next to the bus station literally but these are some ketenges women in tanzania zanzibar wear these colorful ketenges some of them have um writing on it religious writings proverbs you know good positive words on them so you'll find that when you visit in tanzania a lot of women especially on the coastal areas and up country as well they wear it a lot very colorful wrappers that they wear around them so right next to the market guys we're back at the bus terminal which is right here on the left so you can see if you do visit here you have the bus terminal and the market right next to each other so it's definitely very very convenient if you're willing to explore this area might might not be you want to live here you might just want to explore and get a vibe of the place you can come and do it it's definitely calm I haven't had any problems so far so this is pretty much a vibe
Okay guys, we're going right in. We're going in the deep end of, of things right now. You're getting an inside view, a live view here of Makumbusho here in Dar es Salaam. You can see there's different roadside restaurants that sell in different things. You can also get Mpesa here as well. So it's really nice so far. I'm going to take you to that bus station, that mini bus station I was telling you about. Where you can get buses to various areas here in the city of Dar es Salaam. So the bus stop is coming up on my left right now. I'm going to cross and we'll go and check it out. Now one thing about this area you've got to bear in mind, it's known for having a lot of various places where you can shop. There's very various mini markets here so you can get your fruits and vegetables and different things like that. So it's a real strategic location that has a lot of amenities for you when you visit so this is the heat of it this is the bus station here so you can see people are literally waiting for their buses right here this, are what, this is what the buses look like here in this area. So you can see it's quite busy guys, a lot's going on and a lot of people advertise their business by by speakers so they'll be saying what they're selling when you when you're walking past So this is the bus station guys and from here you can get buses to many areas like I said to you even right here you can see buses are going to Temeke I did a, a vlog recently on Temeke that's another area in South Dar es Salaam buses going all over so if you're ever in this area definitely remember that you can come here and take the local buses now bear in mind guys these are the local buses it's not like the big intercity buses or bus coaches like they say in London these are the, the smaller buses and they're mainly what a lot of the locals use here in Tanzania it's not a very big bus station but like I said you do get a lot of various buses that goes different places So literally by this bus station guys you can see there's like a soup there's a supermarket here there's places for you to get your elect electronic stuff I don't know about the quality but of course this is what this type of shops they have here and of course there's like fit places where you can eat as well so this is the central bus station here in uh, Makumbusho so we don't, I'm going to leave now and we're just going to walk around so you can see the other shopping areas that are near the bus terminal here this guy with the uh, yellow bag there is selling ice lollies a, a very popular feature you'll see here in Tanzania they walk around 
and they might come to you when you're on the bus or when you're just walking and the ice only goes for like around 500 Tanzanian shillings So not too far from the Makumbusho station guys, we have the Mwanga Tower and the other plazas which are quite nearby and you can usually see these towers when you're driving on the highway which I recently did a vlog about so you can check that out so away from the bus stop we're walking away now you'll find a lot of the local local shops here you know things like the butchers this guy's sharpening a knife right here very ancient tradition of sharpening a knife he's literally pe pedaling like a, on a bicycle and he puts the blade over the wheel and that literally sharpens the knife you know So we're walking away from the, the main bus terminal there in Makumbusho and just give you a little idea of what you will see when you visit the surrounding areas here. local transport so you can see on this road you'll notice you'll see many many shops small businesses on this street here it's literally a, a few steps away from the bus terminal where we just came from so I'm just gonna show you the various shops here so I mean if you do come here you there's definitely places where you can eat and do other shopping you know so it, it doesn't have to always be for the bus you're coming for you could generally just come here as a socialize socialize and, and relax really you know so check out the vibe guy So this here is a shop called Yuki Treads and here you can get various you know African um, fabric inspired clothing and right next to it there's a, a phone shop so quite good many kind of shopping area here you got iPhones you got different cosmetics there's also a pharmacy here as well there's also um, yeah another iPhone type of store so that's this is all, all the various things you can get here
I'm sure you guys will notice that further away we get from the bus terminal it seems much more quieter much more quiet selling chapatis here So something like this is what the back roads will look like and you will find different um, apartments, homes where people live and there will also be like mini uh, small business I, must, I should say on that street. Makumbu show. Have bananas and mangoes here. It's a beautiful home here, it seems. And, and today is very hot, guys, so I'm really enjoying the cool of the palm trees as I'm walking here. Look at that palm trees. Wow, Tunisia Street. We are Tunisia Street here in Makumbusha. Okay. Across that road is called Mount Namibia. Real nice and it's real clean guys, really clean. I'm really impressed with the clean uh, cleanliness and you know the sidewalk, lovely pavement here as we walk past. I'm liking the vibe. Again there's more places to eat guys. You can see people just sitting there enjoying a meal. I'm mean, gonna be honest with you, this area is not bad. It's not bad at all, even for living. It got, it got a lot of things that you need. Plus when you want to go to a certain place. Mambo VP. Yeah. Plus when you want to go to a certain place. You can get a bus there, so that's... That's convenient. It's a, very, it's a convenient area. A lot of food joints in this area. 
lot of them. This is another one right here. It's called Zito. And then again, It's a hair salon here. I mean, it's not like some of the other areas we've been, but in terms of like a lot of greenery with a lot of plants and trees, but you can see there there is some here, you know, apart from, yeah, you know, it's paved roads, but they do incorporate some form of greenery here. There's some trees at this end, which is always good to see. And this is like a bar and grill here. I, I take it on the weekend. This place will really be swinging. So fan bar and grill. So. And then, you know, your regular barbers and different shops can all be found. So guys, I do trust that you have enjoyed today's episode. My name is Wemba Imani and we've explored a little bit of Makumbusho. I'm sure you guys have heard about it in the Kinondoni district. So definitely, I hope this video has been helpful. Do consider if you're new to like, share and subscribe to the channel by clicking on the red box below this video that says subscribe. And to my returning subscribers, I appreciate you so much. Thank you for your custom. My name is Wemba Imani and thank you for watching Inspire for Travel.